Oh, you look gorgeous, baby. Application of C collars. Our application of C collar is a small piece in a larger skill, such as supine spine or KEB. But right now, we're just going to focus on application of a C collar. We're going to look at a couple different brands. We've got an Ambu or the Lairdal. They come in an adult size and a pediatric or small adult. My patient Nathan. Is going to be a candidate for the adult. My assistant Sue, even though she is not a pediatric age, she would be an appropriate candidate for the small adult or pediatric collar. So with these collars we have an adjustment with the chin support that folds out and then we have two locking tabs to move the chin further down. When we measure our collar, we're going to measure from this black line to the plastic at the bottom, which is going to rest on the trapezius. I'll show you more detail in a second. All right, so first we're going to need to direct our partner Sue to hold Nathan's head in a neutral inline position. We'll go over more neutral inline position in our supine spine skill. Once Sue has Nathan in a neutral inline position and secure, I'm going to take my forearm, press it against Nathan's sternum, and help hold his chin with my hand. Then I'll talk to my patient, Nathan, when I tell you to, I'm gonna have you pivot at your hips, keeping your back straight, pressing against my forearm, and we're gonna help you sit up straight. Okay, mm -hmm. any questions? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall, sit up nice and straight. Now that I have my patient sitting nice and tall, I can see that he's neutral in line. I'm going to measure for my collar. I'm going to make an L with my hand, come in straight so that my thumb rests right below his chin. Then I'll drop my fingers down to the top of his trapezius. Then I'm going to take that measurement from where my fingers hit his trapezius and measure again from the top of the black line to where the plastic will meet his trapezius. He is about three, three of my fingers. Then I'll lock my collar in place. I'll need to bend my collar a little bit to help mold it when I put it on my patient because when it comes out of the packaging, it's going to be nice and stiff. As I put this on my patient, I'm going to work with Sue to get this underneath of her arms, around the back of my patient, and Velcro that in place. I want to look to make sure that my collar is in line with the, the midline of my patient. I can step over to the side to look to make sure that my patient isn't hyperextended or underextended and that I don't have a large gap between the base of the collar and the sternum. 